Thank you everyone for being here today to experience this momentous occasion for our graduate. She's worked extremely hard, put a lot of time and effort, a lot of sacrifices to make this happen today. So we appreciate all you coming from west of Chicago, south of Chicago, in Chicago. Thank you everyone for being here. It's a difficult time to get together during the holidays and we appreciate everyone being here to celebrate and to commemorate. Nanette Bush on her excellent achievement this year. Thank you all for coming. All right, we would like to start off the ceremony today with a prayer from Mr. James Paschke, if we could all stand. <laughs> Close our eyes. <laughs> Heavenly Father, thank you so much for all that you do. Lord, thank you for helping Nanette through school. Thank you for having her take this step into the next part of her life. I pray that you guide her in it, that you help her to work for your glory, Lord, for your goodness, that you would help her to know where she needs to go next and what she needs to do. I pray this in Jesus' name. Amen. 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 You may be seated. <laughs> Next, we would like to bring up our guest speaker, Miss Marcy Martilla. You may know her from her entrepreneurial endeavors in House Mothers of Orange County <laughs> and other ventures as well. So please, everyone, warm welcome to Miss Marcy Martilla. Yay! Welcome, everyone. Dearly beloved, we are gathered here. Oh, that's what I usually do. I'm a little nervous. I didn't get to practice as much as I was hoping. Well, I see Jeff has like one piece of paper, and I have like 20. So it'll be okay. I, I, I write big. Um, it's a very confusing day, kind of, right? Um, you know, Liz said we're going to wear caps and gowns. Today was like, wear pajamas. I'm like, I don't know what to wear. I was going to wear my bathrobe, and then I forgot it. But, God, Erica did get me a cap. So. And, I've worn, and I've worn one of these once or twice. Yes. 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 Yes.
um, congratulating Liz and Jeff on their beautiful new home. Yes. And it's like a house here in Yes. And thank you very much for having us here. We're, it's, it's a beautiful home. It looks lovely. Um, and when are we? When? It's Saturday, December 15th, 2018. And Tyrone, it's not ugly Saturday. <laughs> and why are we here to honor Nanette for her hard work her, and dedication for going back to school, earning her Bachelor of Arts in Human Resource Development. <laughs> We're extremely proud of you, Nanette. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Ugly sweater. Oh yeah, now I know. Well, it's more a joke because I always. Oh I'm no, like, there was. Is this a dish towel? I'm like, no, that's not yes. a sweater. <laughs> <laughs> because he he lives in a beige world. I mean, yes. beige. Black, white, beige, great. Anyway, um, <laughs> sorry. Human <laughs> resource development. Again, confusing because what is that? What does that mean? I mean, really, I think of Star Wars, kind of, you know, like they're, they're cloning all the army, you know, it's, you know, and you just look and there's like rows upon rows of the clone, what? the clones in Star Wars. If you don't know Star Wars, you don't know what I mean. But Star Wars. Anyway, I think there's a connection there. Those of us in the working world feel that sometimes, you know, we're like that. We're an army of workers, um, like a tiny cog in a big machine like an assembly line doing the same thing day in, day out, and it's seemingly pointless. But that brings us to one of the points of the why. Why did Nanette go on and further her education so that her life could be more than that? So she could, and that she could learn to help others be more than that too. To find fulfilling work, but not just a paycheck and not just a piece of paper. <laughs> I tried to imagine when I was sitting down to write this, you know, what was she thinking? What was going through her mind as she considered taking the risk of going back to school as an adult? You know, the sacrifice on her time and her sleep and her money. Would it be worth it? Should she even try? Would she succeed? And what would she get out of it? There's the usual answers, a better job, more money, respect of her peers. And of course, we hope she gets all those things. But I do think there's more. I think in the end, she reflects. She knows that she got more than she probably ever imagined in her wildest dreams. What did she get? Well, I'm going to get to that in a minute. Because now I'm going to give you a little insight into uh, what goes into preparing to give a speech like this. I do take it very seriously. And it involves a lot of brainstorming and some free association stuff. And of course, you know, your trusty Google machine. Um, and it's a little scary because this is like a little snapshot into my brain. So I'm that is scary. It, you know, I live with it all the time, so I don't know what to tell you. <laughs> um, so, of course, you know, you start to brainstorm. I have to take this off. It's wiggling. You start to brainstorm, so you start with the name. I hope I spelled it right, because yeah. the rest of the whole thing hinges on that. Yeah. <laughs> I could have Googled that, but you know, some people do the two ends in any way. Anyway, and she has, of course, the second most beautiful middle name in the family, because I am the first, but we have the en français thing going on. Yes, we do. Well, so you, we name. don't know my middle name. Yeah, I think I do, too. Is that okay. French? Anyway, off topic. Yeah. <laughs> it's, it's not easy to distract my brain. <laughs> <laughs> i got to show this in here now. Hold on. So, so you Google it. You just Google Nanette. All kinds of things come up. Uh oh. Leaving out the R rated stuff. Okay. So, <laughs> there was some stuff. <laughs> but the first thing that comes up is a cute little name poem. You know, so it says, like, Nanette is, you know, noble, alluring, nifty, elegant, thorough, terrific, and exciting. And the weird thing is, I mean, I feel like a lot of those seem true. Although I would probably put nutty for nifty. I don't know, nutty. That's what I think. But another thing that comes up is like a name analysis. Nanette means perfectionist, smart, successful, and kind. Well, wow. It's also really kind of true. Google knows everything. <laughs> and now we get into like the math portion of our demonstration today. Um, 
you know, Renee and Liz know that it's called Marcy math, and I have a weird way of math. But, you know, again, we're looking for patterns. I'm looking for what am I going to talk about today? Um, and I'm trying not to make it really long. It's, it's going to be okay. <laughs> but I'm nervous. Okay. All right, so there's this thing called numerology. It's like your horoscope, but with numbers, okay? Horoscope with numbers. And then that has a super cool name. There's a lot of, like, repeating things, you know, which you'll see in a minute. But to just start with the numbers, let me use my smaller sheet here. Black marker. Okay, so when you do the alphabet, you assign a number to each letter. Um, so N is a 14. An A is a 1. I didn't have to look for that. <laughs> 14, but that's, you know, my brain. I better double check. I don't know. E is a 5. The T's are 20. 20, that's fun. And a five. Okay. All right. What do we got? What can we do with that? Marcy. What's that? Nothing. <laughs> um, Your niece is just looking at me. Oh, and we got to do the numbers down here, too. So hold on, hold on. 25. I did this ahead so we don't have to all sit here and count with the alphabet. 22. O is a 15. Oh, we know the ends because they're up here. 14. 14. And an E is a five. Okay. It doesn't really say much to me. <laughs> but there are, there's repeating. See, there's 14s, there's fives. Stay with me. Stay with me, people. All right. So then you just go, I don't know. What do these, what do these add up to? So, now, here's where the Marcy map comes in because you start with the easiest numbers. You know, we go 20, 40. Just cut, pretend these are 10s 20, 40, 50, 60. And now count them, 64, 65, 69, 69 and, then the, and then add two fives as a 10, that's a 79. 79. <laughs> Thanks, Renee. <laughs> there we go. She needs a tax accountant. Right. Yeah, Marcy Math is not good in the tax yeah. world, really. No. Oh. Ask my tax accountant, she knows. <laughs> so what I think is I'm like, oh, 79, well, that would be so cool if that's when, they were, when Nanette was born. But it's not. She was not born in 79. No way. No. She was actually born in 75. So we're going to put the 75. <laughs> 75. And then, I don't know, just because we're here, we're just going to, you know, subtract it. 79 from 75, we get a 4. Right? Yeah. Well, that's not super meaningful. Although 4 is the traditional number of years that, like, high schoolers go to college. I don't really know many people who did it in four years, but... So that's a little bit related. Anyway, so <laughs> a couple, two, three more. No. All right. But then I'm like, well, all right. Oh, wait, did I forget something? Hold the doors. No, I didn't. Keep going, keep going. I'm going, I'm going. However, she was, oh, we, she was born in 75. So what we want to know is how old, how old is she? Oh, four. 40, 43? Mm -hmm. All right, 43. Yeah, 43. I'm just going to write it there because I can't remember. So 1975, what was going on then? There was an energy crisis. People were lining up to get their rations of gas at the gas, uh, at the gas stations. Lining up. The kids probably can't even imagine it. Um, that 1975 is the year the United States imposed... Um, national 55, 55 mile per hour speed limit to conserve the gas. So we're going to use those numbers because it's a pattern and there's fives. We're going to use 55. Oh, my right. I feel like I'm at school. I know. I, right? just that, I used to do this, you know. You can see why I don't do it anymore. <laughs> anyway, um, oh, and guess how much a gallon of gas was in 1975? Any guesses? More than that. 70 cents. Less than that. 30 cents. Again, 44. Look at all the fours we have. 44 cents a gallon for gas. Crazy, right? It's crazy. I find that crazy. All right, we're moving on here. So like I said, we have some patterns. You know, there's fours here. Um, oh, wait, and we never added up Yvonne. So hold on, let's add this up. Oh, gosh. Renee. Here we go. We're going to go 20, 40. 50, 60, 68. Well, anyway, I'll just tell you. It comes out to, uh, oh, I forgot. <laughs> it comes out to 95. Good job, Drake. Does he have it? 95. Yeah. Okay. 95. 
All right, again, not significant, you know, she wasn't born in 95. Um, although, let's see. Did she graduate high school in 95? No, 93. I don't know. Oh, so now, close. just to see, just to see what happens. Because, you know, don't forget, we're just, we're just brainstorming here. Let's add up 79 and 95. <laughs> So a nine and a five is 14, we carry the one, but we're gonna carry it to the bottom because nine and one is 10, make seven, make 17. Okay, 174. You got nothing, unless by some chance, is this like the start of your social security number? Because that would be so cool. No. <laughs> All right, that didn't work. All right, so moving on. Um, November. Let's see. <laughs> oh, not yet. Almost there. She's going to tie it together. Don't um, worry. She's going <laughs> to. Oh, but 95 is close to something. It must. You graduated high school in 1993, right? Mm -hmm. 1993. We just discussed <laughs> I missed that before. I'm <laughs> the number 25 because it's like solid it's half a 50. four 25s make a dollar four quarters make a dollar 25 is good. plus look we have 25 up here 25 oh we're getting to some meaning now and we're gonna, we're gonna, we're gonna, and we're gonna put the two fives in but not only that i want them to stay in line with these other numbers 20 it's five all right. Good job, Mom. I'm going to get somewhere. You just stay with me. Okay. 25. I see four, four, two, like five, right, right, right. Five, five, five. Five. Not a lot of eights. Oh, I don't know. Don't jump in. Oh, wait. And a few fun facts. Here were things happening 25 years ago in 1993. Ty Warner introduces the first Beanie Babies. Harley Davidson motorcycles turned 90 years old. They're way more than that now because it's 25 years, but... Oh, my guy signs NAFTA, Bill Clinton. I love Bill Clinton. <laughs> anyway, Bill Clinton signs NAFTA in the law. And he plays the saxophone. <laughs> and yes, Bill also plays the saxophone. Two American scientists yeah. achieved the first cloning of a human embryo. And now we're back to human resource development. Because you're thinking, no, I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. And a few of the best movies of all time, in my opinion, came out in 1993. Number one. Well, I don't say it's number one, but Jurassic Park was the biggest movie of the year. Oh, wow. Mrs. Doubtfire, just a personal favorite. I just love that movie. But my favorite of all time, who knows it? Favorite it's movie of all time, Renee knows it. Sleepless in, <laughs> Sleepless in Seattle. Sleepless in Seattle. Sleepless in Seattle. That sounds uh, about right. You know, giving couples everywhere wildly unrealistic romantic goals. Yeah. And then <laughs> at the top of the Empire State Building. What that is that? All right, and for the young ones who have completely lost right now, this is where you should listen. The most popular show for kids that year, 25 years ago, was Barney. And I don't mean you care oh. about Barney. And I love you, yeah, let's not get there. <laughs> However, go back and Google some old videos because you know who you're going to see in the background is Selena Barney Gomez Ruiz. and Demi Lovato. Demi Lovato and Selena Gomez. That's right. And they're like this big. Demi Lovato. And they're that big. Well, Renee, we're old, so we don't know who Demi Lovato is. Oh, that's right. We weren't kids yet. We're old. She overdosed recently. We were drinking. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> she just we're, did that. She just od We're getting very really close, I promise. So I'm looking sense. for patterns. <laughs> oh, wait, but there's one more thing I learned. <laughs> on, there's one more thing I learned on Google. This isn't totally related to the speech. It's just fun. Well, it actually is related because it's about, like, how the brain processes patterns. And how you just think, how it, sometimes you have to think about things a different way. So I learned how to spell Nanette's name using military NATO code. I don't know if you ever Googled this. And, and it goes like this. So guess, this is when you get ready really loud on three. I'm going to count to one, two, three. So wait for the three. And, but have your big voices ready. One, two, three. November! Alpha! November! Echo! Tango! Tango! Echo! Knows it, Jeff. <laughs> All right, I'm putting him on the spot. Never mind. Um, but anyway, even in that, we see patterns. So because of all the ends, she has November. November seems to be maybe a significant month for you. I don't know. And uh, but it's just fun. And now the kids, when we're all done, are gonna go Google like, well, what is my name like that? <laughs> all right, back to the brainstorming. <laughs> So I have a little OCD, and now this triangle over here is bothering me because it's all by itself up there. 
So now we're gonna make a little triangle here. But I don't know what I'm gonna do with it, but we added 25 to get 25. So I'm gonna subtract 25 and 22, which 25 minus 22 is a three. Okay, and this is kind of fun, because if we go back to the numerology, she got her Bachelor of Arts, and a B is a two, and an A is a one, so two plus one is three. Okay, now is this your social security number? <laughs> Well, anyway, here's a funny thing, though, because most of mine is in here now. That's the best. Three, five, 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 seven, four, and I can't tell you the rest. It's a security breach. Yeah. All right. So what is this whole mess? What does this mean? I'll get back to the original question. I'm sure you've forgotten what that was, but don't worry, I remember. We were talking about what was she thinking? Was she scared? No. Why scared. should she take the risk of going to school? Should she make the sacrifices? What would she get out of it? And I was willing to say that it was much more than any dollar amount or a piece of paper. Me. I mean, one thing she got, <laughs> one thing she got out of it, you know, it was school. She learned things. Silly. Not only about human resource development or developing humans as a resource. It's still kind of creepy. I don't know. Um, but I think she probably learned about herself. That she could do it. Exactly. That she could succeed. That she has determination and perseverance to do whatever it takes to better her life for herself and for her daughter. And what a lesson. What an example she set for her beautiful daughter. Who's a young woman now? Is she here? No. No. Oh, let's kidnap her. We love you, Sienna. I hope she also learned something about the people around her, her support group, her circle, her tribe. Wow. That when she needed help, she could ask, and they were there. That she could depend on others, and be vulnerable vulnerable enough to ask for the help, and strong enough to do so. A graduation is a milestone in life, a turning point. A chance to reflect, to look back on where we've been, and look forward to what our future may hold. Sometimes when we get bogged down in the middle of things, it can seem messy and disorganized, and like you don't know where things are going, like there's no point. But always have faith. Keep pushing forward. Often when you take a moment to reflect, step back, it will come to you. You'll see the pattern, and it will give you hope. Speaking of reflecting, I have one more thing to write on the board. What does reflection mean? It's a mirror. It's a, like, let's take, if you take this nine, if it looked at itself in the mirror, the nine would look like this. It's a reflection. Now, I bet you didn't know that you can, you not only can add up numbers, you can add up words. Words add up. What? <laughs> Then at, when you look at yourself in a mirror, I hope this is what you see and say to yourself. That woman in the mirror. Oh, jeez. Oh. November. Oh. Alpha. November. Capable. She is strong. Oh. She is smart. She is capable. She is love. And that adds up to something. November. You see it? I see it. I need the red marker. Here. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we did the reflection with the nine. Still don't see it? Oh, I know why. I know why you don't see it. Oh, both. Oh, oh. You're going to get interested. She is loved. She's loved. Oh. grateful for our many blessings. Remember to share our joy with each other. Feel peace. Love your family. Love your tribe. Hold them close. Love yourself. 
God bless us, everyone. Yay! 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 Congratulations, Ned. Illuminati. 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 Did you get a picture of her? I, I missed yeah. the one three. Good job. Was, yeah, that, that was, was cool. That was, that was cool. cool. That was no, I didn't. I, 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 I stopped. Stop. Wait a minute. It, it really is what my brain is like, like minute to minute. Let me take a picture. Thank you for those liberating words, Marcy. <laughs> Next, we would like to conclude the ceremony with the presentation of the graduate. For this next section of the presentation, Adriana Marjanovic, Master of Business Administration, will be presenting the diplomas. Adriana, please. Yay! Will the graduates please stand? <laughs> Jeanette Bush, I present you with your diploma. <laughs> Thank you very much. Thank you, everyone. Thank you. Family, friends, please wait till the graduates have exited the building. Okay. All the Walter, applause, and two minutes.